is scheduled to be arraigned tomorrow. He's 21 years old. Ahmad Elisa is charged with 10 counts of murder. The city of Boulder is reeling from this senseless act as the victim's families now are planning funerals. Several of the victims, high school grads. Now this morning we check in with Boulder's Mayor Pro Tem, and Councilwoman Junie Joseph. And Junie, thank you so much for starting your day on BNC. We welcome you. Um, first things first, how is the community doing? It sounds like a reckless mm. question, right? How would you think the community's doing? But as a whole, I know it's a tight-knit community. Um, do you feel like people are coming together there for each other? No. Thank you. Uh, thank you for this opportunity to be here and to connect with you and your viewership. And I want to tell you that the people in Boulder are very resilient. And our heart also goes out to the families and the victims. But yes, we are, you know, I had yesterday a, um, I opened up my Zoom room to have community members connect with me. And I have to tell you, people flood in and yeah. people wanted to know how wow. they can help. And they wanted to talk as well about the trauma that they've experienced, the secondary trauma that, it, that they've experienced as community members. So I think the people of Boulder are highly resilient and we have come together and we will continue to, to stay together and overcome this challenge that we are, we are going through right now. Yeah, and, and our thoughts, once again, and our prayers uh, continue to be with you in, in the uh, community there in Boulder, Colorado. You guys have gone through so much, just uh, Aurora, Colorado, which isn't too far away. That happened nine years ago, and now this senseless tragedy here. But I want to ask you personally how you're doing. I know you're a politician. I know you're the mayor pro tem. Uh, but when you see it happening around the country, it's one thing, and your heart bleeds for those people. But when it happens right in your backyard, even as a politician, what, what does that do to you? Yeah, you know, I've seen the news as it was coming in and I've seen what I've seen the Twitter feeds. And these people are not just my constituents. They are my friends. They're my neighbor. Mm -hmm. I just recently graduated from CU Law School back in December 2020. Mm -hmm. And I was just holding my breath, thinking that it could be one of my classmates. It could be, mm. you know, someone that I know, but, you know, it was very challenging watching what ha what was happening again, just as a human being seeing it. It could have been you and it could have been me because the only thing yeah. these people were doing was just going to the grocery store to shop. And we mm. all do that, all do that. So they didn't deserve to be sh shot down and gunned down. It just pains me to just see that. Yeah. And, and, and it feels slightly help you i think that was the heart of it as well as a community member as a fellow human being and as you mentioned as someone who's a leader how do you help yeah. someone to see their stuff it's just it's just happened to our community yeah um you know it seems that in the middle of the tears the anger the shock the outrage people have questions they, they have a thirst for answers. Why, how, um, are there any new developments? Because you are in a leadership position there that you, you can share with us about the case. Yeah, you know, again, I think, or DA mentioned that it's gonna take a year to fully get exactly what happened or for the process to go through. And I. I think my will as a community leader is to let the process play out and to respect the integrity of the investment, and not just speculate on what happened. It's just, you know, it's just senseless what happened. No matter what we hear, it's never going to fully explain why one person would yeah. pull out a gun and kill 10 people. There's no real explanation mm. that will ever satisfy any of these family why their family member was taken out of this world. Yeah, um, yeah, it is. It's senseless, and it, you, you still can't wrap your head around it. And there's really never a full or a good enough explanation for why somebody does this. But we got to try and stop it. Uh, and I know because yeah. of everything that Colorado has gone through over the years, going back to Columbine, that you know Colorado has some of the strictest gun laws on the books. Uh, I, I do know that there was a judge that blocked the ban of assault rifles just ten days before this actually happened, but. 
uh, overall in the nation, when you see what's happening in D.C. right now, wh what is your message uh, to Congress right now, to the lawmakers that can do something about this? What, what, what do you want to see them do? Thank you. You know, the message is that our communities, we are tired. Community members are tired. Under President Obama, we had Cindy Hook. Under President Trump, we had Parkland. And today in Boulder, we also had a mass shooting. It's not fair. We are the United States of America. When I saw what happened on Twitter, and as the feeds were coming in, I've lived in Haiti, I've lived in Central African Republic, and I couldn't distinguish these two countries. And it should not be fair for our community members. Our lawmakers in, in, in D.C. have to come together and do something. We will move past this, but will we move forward effectively? And I think it's up to the people in Congress to do their job, to get together and pass gun reform. It's so important. These senseless murders have to stop. Can someone, someone, will someone have access to a gun and still do one shooting? That could happen. But when you have 10, you know, too many lives are being lost because of the access that people have to gun. I think we need to limit access. And I'm very hopeful as well because we have a president right now who's willing to do the hard work. President um, Biden, I saw his um, message to the country yesterday and how he talked about how he wants to change this and he wants to work with Congress. And I want Congress to do their job mm -hmm. to protect American mm -hmm. lives. It's not fair for the families, the victims, and it's not fair for the community either to constantly have to go through this upheaval. Yeah. Mm. May Washington hear your voice. May Washington hear our collective voices. Mayor 